class, I want to go ahead and introduce you guys to my math lab. My math lab, is, which some of you may have used in high school, is the online homework platform through Pearson that we use in the math department for courses like college algebra, pre-cal, calculus. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tour. So you're going to want to go ahead and sign in. When you sign up for an account, please use your uh, SLU email. Um, it really helps your professors. It's also a FERPA thing um, to make sure we can protect your uh, identity. So when you log in, you'll see your courses. These are your active courses that you're currently enrolled in. Right now you're taking statistics. How fun. And when you go into your course, um, there's some key things I want you to see. So first off, it tells you uh, what things are past due, your average grade. Um, as we can tell, I'm doing really well. This is the instructor home. Let's pretend it's the student view. So when you log in to your course, you will see all of your past due assignments. As you can tell, I have a ton of past due assignments because I'm not really a student in this course. And it shows you when they're due. Um, you can look at current or the entire course to date um, to see which uh, assignments you are missing and when they were originally due. You can also click on the assignments tab and that'll show you all the assignments for the entire course. Isn't that fun? Next, I want you to check out your gradebook. Your gradebook is where you will see your most current grade. Um, not all professors keep their grade in gradebook. I do, um, but you'll have to make sure you look at your professor's syllabus. They may decide to keep it in Canvas. One thing I also want you to know is you can access an e-text. The e-textbook is the textbook for your course, so you don't have to buy a physical textbook. You don't have to carry that around. Um, you do get access to the e-textbook and you can search its index. Maybe you want to learn about normal distributions. Totally up to you. Let's talk about assignments and look at one of the homeworks. So let's look at this homework 1.2. We'll click on the problem. And I'm not going to actually solve this problem, but I do want to show you a lot of the resources available to you. So first off, down here you can get access to your textbook. If you're taking a statistics class um, or a math class, sometimes they'll give you StatCrunch, which allows you to do statistical calculations, um, or a calculator so you could do basic uh, math. You can also click Get More Help. So there's a couple things you can do. One is you can ask your instructor. Um, ask your instructor will send a message directly to me. There should be a couple more resources. Let me see if I can find an example with those. So here is another um, homework problem. This is actually from a college algebra course. Um, and because it's a little more complicated, not multiple choice, there are more resources available to you. So one is help me solve this. It will walk you through step by step how to solve this problem. You can also view an example. Um, it'll walk you step through by step through a similar problem. And other than get more help, you can go directly to the textbook or um, ask your instructor and that'll email your professor right away. So those are some of the built-in resources in my math lab um, that you'll have access to in your math classes this fall.